What's going on guys? That's cool bacon here and welcome to I don't even know what to call this video. I'm I'm going to call it some straight up bullshit. Uh welcome to the straight up bullshit video where I'm going to be going over uh a few things. You guys might have noticed a little uh bumper at the beginning of the video that said uh for for best quality watch in 1440p. Um you're going to see that bumper at the beginning of all my videos from now on just to kind of let people know that um you know, it, obviously, in order to get a better quality video, go ahead and bump it up to 1440p, or if you can, even like 4K. Uh, most of the videos I'm going to be uploading now will be uploaded in 4K because of what I'm about to tell you guys. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed in the past, uh, some of the quality of the videos uh, on Arma 2 and Arma 3 have been eh to complete and utter garbage. Um, and you can mostly see it uh, whenever you're doing like really quick movements in uh, grass, bushes, stuff like that. You can kind of see like a bush turn into a a very ugly blob looking thing. Um, and I really wanted to find a way to take care of that. And I could not for the life of me figure out how exactly to do it. Uh, I've spent hours upon hours upon hours of trying to figure out what exactly I'm doing wrong. And this is kind of a, a quick tip for, I guess, people getting started on YouTube as well. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the bullshit. So for those of you guys that are subscribed to my channel, you know that I upload mostly Arma 2 and Arma 3 gameplay with some Daisy gameplay here and there. Uh, but most of the gameplay that I do end up uploading does have quite a bit of detail in things like grass and trees and bushes and shit like that. Um, and YouTube doesn't really like that kind of shit. It likes to try to compress the hell out of your video. Uh, I guess to save space on their servers or something. I'm not exactly sure why they do it, but they do it. And it ends up making the videos look like shit. Now, obviously, a quick and easy remedy to this, uh, this issue here would be to not really give a shit and just upload in 1080p and just make your viewers kind of deal with it. Um, that's probably not the best thing in the world. Um... I have been uploading videos for a while now, like I said earlier, some of them look okay, some of them look like garbage, and it's mostly because of how YouTube compresses videos and how the bitrate cap and everything works depending on the resolution size of your video and this and that and the other, and it's just a bunch of technical garbage that I'm not trying to get into right now. Uh, obviously because I don't know too much about it, I couldn't exactly tell you guys why bitrate is important, I just know that it is. So if we go ahead and take a look at the first picture, we see that it is a 720p uh, copy. That this, this is from the same video that was uh, actually upscaled from 1080p, uh, that's what, what I recorded in is 1080p. And then when you render it out through Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas, you want to go ahead and upscale that to at least at least 1440p. But I find 2K is, or not 2K, but 4K is pretty good because it actually gives people the option to go that high if their bandwidth can handle that kind of shit. Um, I know that some people's can't, but most people's can. We are looking at the 720p picture right now, and as you guys can see, it looks like straight up garbage. I mean, you, you you can't tell that I'm running on grass. It looks like garbage. If, if, if you pay attention to these trees over here on the uh, left side of the screen, where you see Gunther's icon kind of back there, you, you can't make out that these are, I mean, you can make out that they're trees, but you can't see like the limbs and everything. Uh, if you look at the tops of them, it starts to pop out a little bit more, but it's just because there's not a whole lot of shit up there at the top. And then also, if you look at the uh, tree just to the right, uh, there's actually a waypoint that I have set, but most people could not tell that I have a waypoint set over there because of how blurry this picture is. Keep in mind this is in 720p, so if we go ahead and switch over to 1080p, you can actually see the uh, waypoint marker, you can actually see a bit more detail coming into the trees and everything, they don't look like blurry blobs of shit on sticks. Um, and you can actually tell that I'm running on grass, kind of. Um, a lot of the grass in the shadows right there are uh, very, very pixelated. 
Uh, and when you start to go out of the shadows, you can tell that it's grass, but at the same time, it doesn't really look all that great. And yeah, so now we go ahead and go over to 1440p. The grass starts to stand out a lot more uh, out of the shadows. Um, in the shadows, it still kind of looks blocky, but at the same time, you can tell that it's grass now at least. Um, the trees are starting to look a lot better. They're not, they're not those awful blobs like you saw in the 720. So obviously this is an improvement over an overall video quality. Um, and then when you move to the 4K picture, obviously things look, I mean, they don't look to me that much better from 1440p, but at the same time, it, I don't know. I mean, if, if you're able to bump up all your videos to 4K, then that's what I suggest you do for, for my videos. Go ahead and bump them up to 4K, and you will be getting the best quality out of the videos possible, which pretty much brings me to my conclusion on this video. With the way that YouTube likes to uh, cap the bandwidth limit, or not the bandwidth limit, but the uh, bitrate limit for people, it's kind of ridiculous. And... By doing this, it degrades the quality of the videos, obviously. You you saw it in the pictures. Uh, your, the video that you guys are currently watching was rendered out in 4K, and I guarantee you that even if you're watching it in 1080p, it's going to look a lot better than a video that's just rendered out into 1080p. I cannot explain the exact science as to why. I mean, besides, obviously, you know, higher bit rate or that the uh, bitrate ceiling has been raised a little bit. It actually allows for more detail to go into your videos. But overall, the point that I'm trying to make here is if you guys want the absolute best quality out of these videos that I'm uploading to you guys, then I would suggest bumping it up to at least 1440p. Uh, 1080p is going to look a lot better from here on out, but it's not going to be the absolute best video quality that you can get from my videos. Um, so bump it up to 1440p. If you have the bandwidth that can handle it, if, if you are able to run 4K, no problem. You don't have any like issues with your video stopping because it has to buffer every 5 to 10 seconds. Then by all means, go ahead and start watching it in 4K. The option is going to be there for you guys now to actually have better quality uh, video as far as like the graphics and everything are concerned. I can't promise that the uh, that the actual gameplay is going to improve by you bumping it up from 1080p to 4k. As a matter of fact, the gameplay is going to stay the same. The video is going to stay the same. It's just that the quality in the video as far as the picture quality is, uh, is going to dramatically improve. So what does this mean for the videos that I actually had lined up and wanted to upload to you guys while I was out of town? It kind of means that all those are scrapped now. Um, there were some videos that had some some decent moments in it that I was really sad to see go, but at the same time, there are things that I wanted uh, included um, in these new videos that I was going to upload and, you know, release to you guys. I actually uh, discovered a way to separate the audio track in-game from my my own audio track on my microphone from the audio track in TeamSpeak and actually have all three of those on its own separate chat, uh, track. So now I can actually go in and improve the audio from the TeamSpeak. I can improve my own audio a little bit better this way. And overall, just the audio quality and obviously now the picture quality of the videos are going to be a lot different. But unfortunately, uh, none of those changes were implemented uh, before I actually recorded what I was going to upload. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to upload any of that stuff. But fortunately for you guys, you're going to start getting better picture and better audio in your videos now. That That is that you watch here on my channel. But anyways, this was, like I said, a technical video uh, to just kind of let you guys know that if you do end up wanting uh, better quality just to go in there and mess around with some some settings in your YouTube thing, and everything will be taken care of. Uh, other than that, we should be back on track here shortly. Um, like I said, there there was going to be a Daisy Overpock video today, but unfortunately that is not going to be able to come through because, like I said, I got rid of all that stuff. So, uh, But on Wednesday, we're going to start having some new Daisy videos, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, go ahead and give this video a 
thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs down if you obviously didn't like it. Uh, and if you didn't like it, hop in the comments section down below and tell me what you didn't like. Tell me on, uh, tell me about the things that I could improve on to maybe make the uh, viewing experience a little bit better for you guys in the future. Uh, other than that, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and I will catch you guys in the next one.